Hey guys, I just got done filming a tutorial on this look. I know it's been a really, really long time. Last weekend, I just did not have any time whatsoever to film. I really wanted to get back in touch with you guys and just share a makeup look that I have been rocking lately. I bought the Lorac Gold Palette a couple weeks ago and I have been loving this. The eyeshadows are so creamy and so buttery. So here's a tutorial on this look using this palette. And if you're interested, just keep watching. And don't... All right, I am going to first stop knocking over everything and put a hairband in. Get the hair out of my face. Now I am going to get it together. <sighs> Rub that right in my T-zone area. Okay. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad. I know there's like nothing pretty to stare at except for my awesome gray wall here, but I thought that the lighting would be better because the lighting in the last video, I did it in the bedroom and it just didn't turn out very well. Alright, next step I'm going to be using, of course, my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. I haven't had any time this weekend to do my nails yet, so I apologize for that. We have been so extremely busy and I haven't been able to film. I haven't really been able to do anything. <laughs> So this is the first weekend where I have had actually like nothing else to do. So I wanted to really sit down with you guys and just share this awesome makeup look. So I've already wetened, wetened, I've already wet the beauty blender. So now I'm just gonna blend my foundation in. So earlier I had set aside my beauty blender uh, by the sink. In in preparation for this video. And then when I got everything set up, I went to the sink to go wet my beauty blender and it wasn't there. And I thought it rolled off the counter and one of the dogs got it. So I'm following the dogs to see where they have it and they don't have it. And I remembered I was watching the trailer for, I think it's called The Boy. And I was like freaking out like, Okay, well, I watched the trailer and now he's around here and he's following me and I'm gonna die. But I found it, it was under the sink. We are gonna set everything with, of course, the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Like that. And then pressing it into my T zone area. Be using the NYX micro, micro brow pencil. Can't talk today. And this is in medium, nope, in ash brown. One day I'll get it right. So I just start right here and do light strokes. I'm gonna set my brows with uh, this disgusting looking Maybelline Brow Drama Gel. All right, brows are done. And I know that usually I use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, but this Lorac one came with the eyeshadow palette here. So I'm going to be using it just so you guys can get the full effect. They call it the behind the scenes eye primer. I really like the packaging too. It's so cute and little. And then the nozzle reminds me of like, I think it was Caboodle's lip gloss. I can't remember, but it brings me back. This one has a little bit more liquidy consistency than the Urban Decay one. So I like it because a little bit goes a long way. So maybe if I bought the full size, it would last me a little bit longer than the Urban Decay one. 
Okay, so here's where the fun begins. This is the new Lorac. I don't know if it's new, but in the store when I went to Ulta, it said new. So this is the Lorac Gold Palette. And here we go. Oh, you don't need to see that. Okay, so here we have a matte pink, a shimmery light pink, more of a peachy pink, and then two matte browns. Down here you have a shimmery champagne color, a gold color, a bronze color, and then a matte brown, and then this matte brown has a bit of sparkle in it. But obviously the palette is absolutely gorgeous. And the eyeshadow brushes I'm gonna be using today are just very basic brushes that work. So I don't think you need to go all out and get like the most expensive eyeshadow brush ever created. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Just a flat shader brush. So I'm gonna take that and I'm going to dip it into Unleash right here. I'm just packing that onto my lid using a windshield wiper motion. And just going above my crease just ever so slightly. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is dip my brush, I'm just gonna use the same brush because I'm lazy, into Unlimited right here. I'm going to press that into the inner corner to give it a little bit more of a highlight. Just like that. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend it all out right now with, this is the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush, but it's super, super fluffy, so I like to use it and just work it right in here. Using a combination of circular motions and windshield wiper motions and just blend it all out so there aren't any harsh edges because so I think the key to eyeshadow to make it look semi-natural is to make sure your blending job is really good because when there's a harsh line it just looks like you've been punched in the face or I don't know someone drew on you while you were sleeping okay that's enough Next, I'm gonna be taking, this is the Sonia Kashuk, uh, I think it's the crease brush. So I'm gonna do a combination of these two colors here, Undeniable and Un... What is that? Unwind. That was embarrassing. Oh, I tap it just so there's no fallout. And I just work that in the outer V just to deepen the eye look a little bit. I guess I can use this. I'm not used to like using these little mirrors because when I do my makeup, it's obviously in the bathroom and you know, there's a big mirror there. So I'm not used to like looking into this tiny mirror here. Okay, I'm gonna take the darker one in unedited right here and just deepen it just a touch. What's great about these shadows, the matte browns, they blend so easily together. Like I've never come across eyeshadows that blend so well. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and use the base shadow brush and blend it all out. Okay, so we lost some intensity with the gold, so I'm gonna go back and take Unleashed on my flat shader brush, and then just pack a little bit more right where I lost some of it. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. All right, on the lower lash line, you wanna balance it out because you've got a lot going on on top of the eyelid and not too much going on the bottom. So I'm gonna take Unwind and just smudge that into the lower lash line right here. Now time for eyeliner. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in Demolition. 
because usually I do a liquid eyeliner, but with this look, I like it to be like not as clean cut of a liner. There we go. All right, now to brighten up the eye a little bit, I'm gonna be taking the Benefit Highbrow right here and just lining my inner waterline. Just to really like make sure I look like they're awake. <laughs> okay, the look is definitely not complete unless or until we put on mascara. Mascara really brings everything together. <laughs> so for blush, I'm going to be using a really budget-friendly option. This is the e.l.f. blush palette in the light shade and it comes with these four shades and these are the most pigmented blushes I have ever used besides the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes, but this is $32 and this palette was, I believe it was only like $6 and I got four colors versus this one color. But granted, you know, this one blush has lasted me like two years and I haven't, I, I made a tiny little dent in it, but I still have a long ways to go. But I don't know, I don't think you can beat this option. So since we with with since we went with gold eyes, I'm gonna go for a combination of the coral and the bronze right here. And I'm using the Real Techniques cheek brush. All right, I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and just make sure the cheek color is absolutely blended in flawlessly. It looks good. All right, next finish off with highlighter. Since we used gold eyeshadow, it doesn't seem right unless we absolutely use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop because it's a peachy highlighter. So it just goes perfectly with this eye look. And I'm using the Real Techniques contour brush. No, concealer brush. But I don't wear concealer, so I found a different use for this. And I am just placing that in a C on the tops of my cheekbones. There we go. Down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow. using the Sephora lipstick and this is one of their cream ones and this is in R14 but it's just a nice pink and then I like to blend it in with my fingers so that it looks super natural and that's it all right then you take your hair band off and you pose awkwardly here. Yeah.